Okay, and listening to this report, you know, this woman here, I've had encounters and experiences with a victim. She has passed away. She did die. And what I find really interesting about this case is that she, being the victim, and, and knowing the whole story, better idea of where this lead brought me, she is like any other girl. She's just like any of us. Exactly. And what I found really bizarre about this case is that I lived directly across from where he was working. And the whole time we were going down there, we went through this whole thing. And we're going to talk about what happened in this case that we missed. Something was missing in this case. And that was Amy Marsinkowitz, who we had interviewed with Amy Marsinkowitz several different occasions, right? And what I find really interesting is that the way this is worded on Twitter is that it was his ex-girlfriend that is not the case. So Amy Marsinkowitz is a, is really important to that case. Edward Baker Jr., who admitted murdering her, was disappeared in Kentucky, which I find really interesting. And then, yeah, that's how important this case is, because that's the reporter on the case. And listen, Edward Baker Jr. admitted on the witness stand to killing 30-year-old Hadela Ozak. Now, he worked there. And we were all sequestered during this. Because I don't have a TV on. Normally I would, but didn't. So, what I found really interesting about the ties to this case is that where it was located, right near the women's shelter, and then that other issue with what happened to us years ago. But what happened is he was moving too fast, and she was not interested in dating at the time. This has happened several times about domestic violence and dating violence. You know what I mean? And going into the woods and not being able to find your friend or, you know what I mean? But here's the thing. Look where it happened. April 3rd, 2017. This is when the case had closed up, but there were several images we took and I talked to the police and how that happened and how that affected our community here in our local region. And then the other cases that we haven't even talked about, but this case in particular is important because I find what happened to her not only was atrocious, but it, it's heinous. He not only shot her in the front of the head, but he shot her in the back and then after he got done, he, he cut her head off, literally severed her head. And then after she died, he raped her when she was dead, which really, really is bothersome to think that he murdered and raped a girl and he also raped her when she was dead. That blows me away. I learned this today about the case. So I'm looking at what's going on in these cases and I'm looking at how important those reporters are right now because to me 